Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Maya with Mindful and Maya. And I just wanted to come to you today with a little Target haul. It was not my typical Target trip. Naturally, I'm practicing social distancing and understanding the orders of, you know, stay at home, safer at home, all those things. So, um, I was able to place a Target order online for a lot of essential products that have been sold out in stores that I've not been able to find anywhere. So I know Target has the drive up service, but I found that I had actually better luck by ordering online. And if you are a Target um, Red Card member, um, you get free two day shipping anyway. So it was fine for me to stay at home and click. Um, what I needed, placed my order, and two days later, it was at my doorstep. So I just wanted to show you some of the things that I know has been sold out in stores that you can actually find um, online. Now, some of these items were available for a Target um, drive-up service, but a lot was not. So instead of just like placing, you know, two separate orders or whatever, I just decided to place everything online. So I'm going to show you some of the essentials that you will be able to get your hands on. I literally am like opening this with you. I am not, you know, going through anything without you. So we are in this together, literally. Um, they did package everything really well. So I was really worried because I ordered things like detergent and stuff like that. And I was wondering if I was going to get it and it's like all um, spilled out in the box or whatever. But that was not the case. So now I'm going to go ahead and take all of this tape off. So my favorite laundry detergent I was able to find and they had it on sale. And so they delivered it to me and it was on sale. I really love how they package things like they taped everything up. And as you saw, it was wrapped in plastic, which I think is really great. Um, so I was able to get my laundry detergent, which I absolutely love. Um, same thing with my... Um, fabric softener again love the fact that they take the time to, se to secure the items so that they don't spill again this was also on sale so love it love the, the level of care that they have for your products love the snuggle fabric softener I was able to get that y'all this Lysol um, this one I love the one with the hydrogen pro peroxide is really really good and this is the bathroom cleaner so I, I don't know about you, but I have not been able to find pretty much, I mean, not a one Lysol product. So I was able to get the bathroom cleaner and this works really good. I love the foaming action of this particular cleaner and it's not a real abrasive smell and it works very well. Um, I was actually able to get the Lysol all-purpose cleaner as well. So this one is the bathroom cleaner. This is the all-purpose cleaner, which you can use on multiple um, surfaces. It works great. It smells amazing. And again, it's getting things clean, but the smell is not um, real abrasive. So again, love this product. Um, I normally use Bounty um, fab, um, dryer sheets, but... Um, they were out of stock. That was one thing that I couldn't get, but I just got the up and up brand in the fresh linen scent, like a dryer sheet is a dryer sheet is a dryer sheet. It's going to be okay. So I was perfectly fine with getting that and I'm fine with the up and up, um, brand. It does not bother me at all. Um, I was able to get, um, my method dish soap. Well, if I'm going to put my eye out first. Um, again, love the fact that they're taking the time to package things appropriately. They also put tape on the top. Um, but this, uh, method dish soap is the citrus grove scent. It not only is the packaging amazing because it is, I love the just clean white. Um, there's also another one that I think comes in a black bottle and maybe even like a titanium kind of gray color as well. But this one smells really good. It works very well. It's not harsh on your skin. I don't know about you guys, but like I have literally been washing my hands or sanitizing so much that I feel like I am working construction or something. <laughs> my hands just feel so dry all the time. But this is a really good dish soap. So I was able to get that. 
Um, I also needed some command hooks. Um, so I got two packs of those. I actually need four. I use these in the shower to like hang things from. Um, and they're just really good. They're sturdy. They last forever. I've been using them for years. And I mean, I clean. Obviously, I clean my shower very well. I spray things on and they don't come off. So these are really good. Um, this is my favorite lip gloss. I love the, um, I don't know if you can see it very well, the Neutrogena Hydro Boost lip gloss. And this shade is the Almond Nude. I love this. It is really good. I have it on now. And my favorite lip liner is the NYX or NIX. I'm not really sure how you say it. I say NYX. But um, the name of this always just trips me out because it's so far from who, from who I am. But it is the, um, in the shade, it's called Club Hopper. So it's so weird because honestly, I don't go to clubs and I can't even tell you what the clubs are. I only found out where the clubs are when I used to work um, in corporate America and I worked downtown and I would see the clubs in the daytime. I was like, oh, that's where that spot, you know, is located. But I am not a club hopper at all. But this is the shade. It's actually the shade that I'm wearing now. Like these, these are my combos. This is what I use daily. Um, I'm not a makeup guru. Like, I don't know. I do concealer, a little bit of mascara, lip liner and lip gloss. That's all I can do. Um, I love all of the makeup tutorials that I see all the time on YouTube and maybe one day I can sit down and get myself together. Um, I was, I got Listerine mouthwash, this is what we use and I don't keep it in this packaging. There's actually um, a bottle that I use and it just kind of like, you just squirt it out like in a Dixie cup and it works very well. I know like this particular packaging is not appealing if you happen to you know, leave things sitting out on your counter so you can find, you know, different bottles um, to put things in. I do like to put things in um, like a darker bottle. If it is something like a mouthwash like this, I wouldn't, I don't put it in a clear container. And also anytime you store peroxide, that's why peroxide comes in the dark brown bottle. You need to put that in something dark or keep it out of the light because it will, um, lessen the potency of that particular product. So just throwing that out there. Um, I did get Kinky Curly, like we cannot survive without this. Um, McKinley, this is what I put in her hair all the time and we were running low and this is like the best detangler, um, leave-in conditioner, whatever you wanna call it, it's the best. Um, their shampoo is really good as well. And they also have like a curling custard, which is more of a gel, but I can just wash her hair, make sure she has, you know, moisturized, moisturizer, like some type of oil, and then use this particular um, leave-in conditioner. It's called Kinky Curly Not Today. It is like a staple. It's a go-to if you have natural hair, if you have thick natural hair, if you have natural hair, period, but for like, it's hard to find products that penetrate really thick, natural hair. <laughs> um, I'm talking about if you have 4C, <laughs> like this product is good for someone who has 4C hair. I'm not just talking about, you know, your 3A, 3C, you know, you can pretty much do whatever, but this particular product is really good for that type four um, natural hair. Um, if you experience dryness um, or anything like that, or just, just like it's hard to comb through, put this in your hair run it through and then use a wide tooth comb and then if you happen to want to use you know something with smaller teeth that's on you but I just like use this with a wide tooth comb or kind of finger, finger the tangle and it's like perfect and I know this is like when you think about type 4 hair you're like girl we use the whole bottle um a little goes a long way and this is also a product that you can kind of reactivate the curling custard is the same way um, add a little bit of water and just kind of reactivates the product. So if you want to have a good product that, you know, you can use and it will last because naturally, I mean, most of us, we don't wash our hair every day. So if you're doing a, a wash and go or some type of like protective style, a little bit of water will reactivate this product and it will work very well. Um, I also got some lotion. Corel is what we do. It's what we use. Um, 
I can use some other brands sometimes, um, but like my kids, they can't. The eczema is real in this house, and if it's not Curel, then I'm using the Eucerin eczema lotion. But for the most part, we can get through um, using the Corel brand of lotion. And there's no um, perfumes or anything in it. It's fragrance free. I like this itch defense. Um, this is what we like. We use. I, I mean, you, you can use any of them, but this is just the one that I like. It's the one that my girls like, um, and it's just really good. So we use that. Um, like it. Oh, witch hazel. So um, it's the Dickinson's, which is really good. And I know that there is another brand. I don't want to say it wrong. Is it like Thayer, Sire, something like that? that a lot of people are raving about and it must be really good because that particular one was sold out online so i was like oh man i really wanted to try it and i saw that they had some other um kinds that, that that had other additives and i wasn't really sure about it but i was watching well i always watch um happy stylish mommy she's really good like i love her channel she's amazing um, but she was talking about that Thayer's um, tone, using that as like a toner. And she was saying that she normally always used this particular product, the Dickinson's, but she was like, I'm switching. So I will be on the lookout to see if I can get my hands on that product, but I was able to get some witch hazel and body wash. Definitely need it. Um, I, I love Dove. Like I will buy Dove. If it's on sale if it's not on sale i will buy the up and up brand or up and up version i have also used the equate version um, at walmart it does not bother me i know some people will have some type of skin sensitivity to the um, off brand or the generic brand of a product my sister is one of them like she can't um it's weird but hey it is what it is but I have been fine using this one. So this is just the knockoff or the up and up um, version of the Dove original deep moisture um, body wash. And so two of them comes in a pack for, I think it was like seven or eight bucks. So I'm fine with that because I would have to pay like $6 for one bottle of Dove. Um, and I think that's all I got. Oh, I ordered a shirt for McKinley. I will um, show you guys a another haul. I did a H&M clothing um, order online as well. It was really good. They had a really good sale. Was it a week ago, two weeks ago? Well, here lately, everybody's having a sale because nobody's going into the stores. And I think they're just trying to sell anything or make any money that they can. But anyway, one of the things that I ordered at H&M, I needed this shade. Um, of shirt and it was not available so I went I just was looking when I was placing my Target order and it was available so I just ordered this shirt through Target and it's like a sparkly it had some like bedazzling or something on it but she just needed this particular color so I will um, include that in like the whole outfit setup I will be filming the H&M haul soon so so far that's it. Oh, the only other thing that did not come in, I think it's shipping from another warehouse or another store. They had like a family pack of my favorite toothpaste. I love the um, Crest, um, I think it's like gum detoxify line, that whole line. It's like a more expensive line because this small little tube of toothpaste is like $7.99. But it's really, really good. And Target had a three pack for $14, which was great because one tube would normally cost you $7. But it did not make it into this particular shipment. That was the only thing that had a delayed shipment. And again, it's coming from a different place. So um, that's fine with me. I know things are taking longer to get, you know, to their destinations as they're trying to ship out, you know, essential products to our um, frontline workers. And so I'm fine. I'm at home. I'll get it eventually. We have toothpaste <laughs> in the meantime. But that was the only thing that didn't make it. And it was a great deal. And, you know, I definitely was going to include it. So if you're having some issues finding some of your favorite products or some of your essential products, especially like lifestyle products, oh, they're not anywhere in my stores. I'm in Nashville, Tennessee, and 
there is not a Lysol product around. The one thing that I am about in tears about that I cannot find is the Lysol laundry sanitizer. I love that stuff and I can't find it. I can't find it and I have like just a little bit left and I've been like rationing it out as I do my laundry because I love that stuff. Um, I can't find it. Hopefully I'll find it before I use the remaining um, you know, bottle that I have, but that was the only thing I cannot find. And so if you know where I can find Lysol laundry sanitizer, please let me know. But again, Target drive up is pretty good. And if not, go online and place an online order. As you can see, they do a very good job of um, packaging uh, of packing everything so that you don't have to worry about things spilling out and you know you it arrives and it's like it's useless they did a very good job I'm very impressed and I mean I do order from Target online but usually it's clothing or shoes or something like that something that I've gone to the store and I just can't find in my size I've never really ordered household products or essential products like this and at this point I mean we all want to go out of the house but if we have to stay home I'm fine I know that I can go to Target and order what I need I can order my groceries and pick them up or have them delivered so hey I'm for everybody being safe I hope you have um, enjoyed this video and I hope you now have you know additional places where you can go and find your essential items and yeah so that is my little Target essentials haul um, please give this video a thumbs up please comment down below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for viewing this video today. And I'll catch you in the next one. Mwah.